I think we're able to do that because we've designed into the distilling process opportunities to play with the flavours. We've got an opportunity to change a number of things so that they have a cumulative effect on the new spirit, but not forgetting then the maturation. So indeed, we apply exactly the same kind of thinking to the maturation, the barrel size, the, the previous use, the new wood, where did the wood come from, all of that added together. So you end up then with, you know, sort of exponential opportunities to, to play with the spirit. And that's what it's all been about, designing that in from the very beginning. Makes it so much easier on a blank sheet of paper. It might seem odd that the, the company was formed in 2011, but we didn't start work until 2014. You could sort of say, well, what were you doing? Well, yes, that's exactly what we were doing. And it might seem an awful long time, but actually that's allowed us to very rapidly move into producing different types of spirits that we want to do and very rapidly find our place. So it wasn't wasted time. All that time was put into the planning and the thinking and putting in the business plan and the funding and all that. What might sound very dull and boring and corporate stuff, but for a business to be still here in 150 years, it has to have a foundation. And that's what we're doing. We're building that foundation. The Rye was a very good example um, of developing a product before we actually produced it. So we did a lot of testing and we involved a lot of our suppliers who um, you know, we're very grateful to and they were very, very cooperative and brought a lot to, to the table. So by develop, developing a development process then allowed us then to produce the product and we learned a lot through that, which we will then apply to other products that we will be distilling. And yeah. can you give us an idea of what other products might be coming along? Come and see me in a year and I'll tell you all about it.